The sun peeked through the curtains of the small city apartment, casting a soft, golden glow across the room. In the tangle of bedsheets, two young women lay nestled, their breaths mingling in the stillness of the morning. One had hair like the unruly waves of a river, the other short and dark as midnight. Their bare bodies, dappled with the remnants of the night's passion, told a story of intimacy that transcended words. As the morning light grew brighter, the women began to stir, their eyes meeting in a languid dance. A smile played on their lips, a silent exchange of contentment and desire. The air was heavy with the residue of their connection, and as they stretched and yawned, it was as if they were stretching into each other's souls. With a shared understanding, they slipped out of bed and wrapped themselves in t-shirts. Their feet padded against the cool hardwood floors as they made their way to the kitchen. The scent of fresh fruit and warm pancakes hung in the air, a promise of the day ahead. Seated at the kitchen table, their fingers brushed against each other as they shared bites of succulent fruit and fluffy pancakes. They spoke little, the quiet between them speaking volumes. The love they shared was not one that needed constant affirmation, it was a river that flowed effortlessly beneath the surface of their interactions. Over the rim of their coffee cups, they exchanged mischievous glances. The day was theirs, a blank canvas waiting to be painted with their desires. They opened their laptop and with a knowing look, they began to plan their day. Hand in hand they walked through the bustling city streets toward the market. The aroma of fresh produce enveloped them, a symphony of colors and scents that reminded them of the richness of life. They selected fruits with care, their fingers brushing against ripe peaches and plum cherries. As they continued their journey to the riverbank, the ducks quacked, their feathers ruffling in the gentle breeze. They sat side by side on the grass, breaking off pieces of bread to toss to the ducks. Laughter filled the air as the ducks scrambled for the crumbs.
The morning reached its zenith, as they watched the water ripple and dance. The world around them faded, leaving only the two of them, entwined in the tapestry of the present moment. They leaned into each other, their lips meeting in a sweet, unhurried kiss. Leaving the riverbank behind, they boarded the tram that carried them through the city's heart. The rhythmic clatter of the wheels on the tracks was a backdrop to the whispered promises they shared, the soft touches that spoke of longing and devotion. The tram deposited them a short walk from the doorstep of a quaint cafe tucked away from the bustling streets. They found an empty table, the light filtering through the leaves overhead, casting playful shadows on their faces. With a knowing smile, they ordered glasses of wine and held them up in a silent toast. Their fingers entwined across the table, their bodies touching gently to a melody only they could hear. With each sip of wine, their inhibitions melted away, leaving room for their desires to bloom. The world around them ceased to exist as they lost themselves in each other's gaze. A soft melodic tune began to drift from the cafe's speakers, and without a word, they stood, their bodies moving in synchrony. The rhythm of their hearts matched the rhythm of the music as they swayed and twirled, their laughter blending with the notes that hung in the air. Their movements were a dance of intimacy, a language only they understood. Their bodies pressed close, their lips meeting in a tender kiss that held the promise of forever. The world spun around them, and for that moment, they were the center of the universe. As the sun began its descent, casting long shadows across the cafe, they returned to their seats, their breaths still intertwined. The wine in their glasses had dwindled, but the fire between them burned brighter than ever. They exchanged soft words, dreams whispered in the dying light. With the last sips of wine, they rose from the table, their fingers brushing against each other as they left the cafe. The city lights flickered to life, guiding their way as they walked back toward their apartment. The night was alive with possibilities, a canvas awaiting new strokes of color. Back in their apartment, they sat by the window, their bodies bathed in failing light. The same light that had witnessed their passion now illuminated their quiet moments, a silent conversation that spoke of devotion beyond words. With a shared smile, they slipped back into bed, the sheets of cocoon that enveloped them in warmth and love. As they pressed close, their hearts beat in harmony, a rhythm that echoed the river's flow. In each other's arms, they found solace, completion, and the promise of a new day.
The night stretched on, a tapestry of stolen kisses and whispered confessions. They spoke of dreams and fears, of the paths they wanted to tread and the adventures they longed to undertake. Their souls intertwined as they bared themselves to each other, vulnerable and unafraid. As the first light of dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, they lay wrapped in each other's embrace, their breathing synchronized like a harmonious melody. The new day was a canvas waiting to be filled, but for now, they relished in the beauty of the present, in the love that flowed between them like a river. And so, as the world stirred awake outside their apartment, the two young women held on to each other, their hearts and souls entwined in a dance as old as time. In the embrace of love, they found their sanctuary, their river of connection that would carry them through every sunrise and sunset, every joy and sorrow, bound together in a love that was both eternal and ever-changing. <laughs>